Now, a while back, after these guys uh, were on, my partner, Wayne Ott, went downstairs in the bottom of the tangent and got a good interview with these guys. So if you want to know what makes a group that sounds this crazy, if you want to know what makes this kind of a group tick, listen in now with an interview with the Jug Band by Wayne Ott. Okay, we're downstairs at the tangent, and we're going to talk to one of the groups which performed tonight and is on the tape. This is Mother McCree's Uptown Jug Champions, and you are... Jerry Garcia. Why don't you tell us something about the origin of the group? Where are the individual people from? Well, uh, do you mean recently or originally? Well, both, if you can cover it. Well, uh, I'd rather let everybody speak for themselves. I'm originally from San Francisco and recently from Palo Alto. I live in the area and I'm a music teacher. Well, are you more or less the or originator or the organizer? More or less, yeah. <laughs> well, who's next on the list? Um, well, go ahead. Who's next on the list? Go ahead, you are. About everybody's next. Oh, well, yeah. My name is Bob Weir and I was originally from San Francisco and now live in Atherton. And I have nothing, nothing to say. <laughs> well, we'll tell, what are you doing? You won't get anything from me with my name, sir. Oh, what am I doing? Yeah, what do you do? What's your function? Well, I play a whole mess of instruments. Guitar, wash tub bass, jug, kazoo. I sing. I dance. <laughs> you tell funny stories. You tell funny stories. <laughs> play the foot crasher every once in a while and things like that. Good. No, I'm glad. <laughs> and what do you do? Enjoy <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Ask him. Okay, why don't we pass it on? Yeah, this is, uh, why not? <laughs> why not? Uh, Tom Stone, I was, say, originally born in Boston, and then my father, being an engineer, have bobbed around the world somewhat and finally ended up in, here in Palo Alto and uh, was playing, and then was somehow drafted into the jug band as banjo player and occasional mandolin player and second guitar player. Great. My name is Dave Parker. I live here in Palo Alto, and I joined the jug band about five or six months ago. Uh, I play the washboard and and double uh, as just about everybody in the band does on a couple of other instruments, uh, kazoos and assorted rhythm instruments. Very good. That's a pretty fair cross section, I think. We'll admit there are two missing, but they also have uh, equally peculiar functions. One of them is Ron uh, Pigpen McKernan. He plays harmonica and sings blues quite well, I might add. So the total is six, right? Six, right. And then there's another fellow who's, whose function we haven't quite established, but sometimes plays bass and sometimes plays second guitar and kazoo and just a general assortment of things. His name is Mike Garbett. Okay. Very good. Uh, one question I think which many people have is, where uh, is music like this chosen? Uh, what gives you the ideas? these selections, um, where do they come from? Well, I think there are about four major categories of music that we actually play, and we uh, boil it down under the name of jug band music. I think uh, the a actual jug band music is uh, a sort of early blues band music that was recorded during the 20s and 30s. It's not sophisticated music. It, it, it might feature a guitar and a harmonica played blues style, a kazoo, possibly a five-string banjo, possibly uh, a jug which acts as a tuba does in an old-time uh, Dixieland band. That, that is one of our major areas of uh, uh, what material, or one of our sources. Another is early Dixieland, well, you know, New Orleans jazz. Uh, we get some 1920, uh, 1930 popular music, and a lot of, not a lot of, but a certain amount of recent, more recent blues within the last 10 or 15 years. That includes some uh, very recent, within the last three or four years, rhythm and blues songs. So we have quite a large area. This makes it more fun for us, certainly more satisfying, because it doesn't restrict us to one particular idea or one particular style. And uh, the result, I think, is pretty interesting. And it's a great, it's a, just a gas for us, I'd say. Anybody want to add to that? I think it's very interesting for the audience, too. Uh, one question, then, to wrap things up. Where does the future lead from here? What, what are you guys going to do next? I'm going to go home and go to bed. <laughs> no, uh, it's hard to tell. I think we'll play the music as long as, uh, probably as long as we're together. We all live in the same area. Uh, like I say, it's fun and it's rewarding. It's great to get together. We don't expect to make a fortune at it or ever be popular or famous or uh, 
worshipped. Yeah, or uh, hit the Ed Sullivan show or anything like that, or the circuses or the big top or whatever. <laughs> anyway, we uh, play at a few places in the area. I think that we may be restricted to that just uh, because it's impractical to travel too long of distances. But as long as we can play, we'll play, you know, regardless of what it's for, who it's for, or anything. It's, it's fun for us. That's the important thing. Okay, great. Well, thanks an awful lot for being on the microphone tonight. And thank you also for allowing us to have the recordings. We appreciate them very much.